After removing the trolley handle, remove the two side covers on both sides and disconnect the battery cables. After disconnecting the battery plugs, turn on the wheel to ensure there are no leftover electricity on the control board. Remove the top cover panel. Be aware of the display cable located right underneath. Disconnect that as well. Disconnect the three phase cables of the motor. Keep in mind their original position. Remove the motor cable clamp located at the back of the control board. Start by removing the motor phase cable covers, then remove the motor cable clamp, followed lastly by the motor cable o-ring. Remove the four screws located at the top and remove the four screws located at the bottom securing the suspension base. Also remove the screw on the kickstand. Now remove the four black screws on the motor axle and the two screws on the top of the mudguard. Flip over the arrow and perform the last few steps on the other side. For the other side, remove only the four screws located at the suspension cover. This will allow you to remove one of the side panels with the controller base attached, keeping an L shape.
carefully feed the motor phase cables out of the axle block one by one. One by one, slide each motor phase cable through the motor cable holder. Apply Loctite to the four screws securing the motor axle block. And finally secure the four screws for the motor axle block. Reinstall the two screws located at the top of the motor cable holder. Reinstall one of the side panels. Make sure the suspension does not sit on top of the suspension base. Reinstall the rear mudguard and make sure it fits into its limiting latch. Reinstall the axle block on the other side while applying Loctite. Just like you have done so for the other side, secure the top two mudguard screws. Take the other side panel and slide down so that it sits flush with the suspension base. Make sure it does not sit on top. On the top of the side panel, make sure that the battery cables are fed through to the top and also make sure that the connector cable between the two battery packs are not being pinched. Reinstall the four screws of the suspension cover and the four screws of the side panel on the top. Reinstall the screw for the rear mudguard rod.
Remove the two screws securing the rear tail light as it'll make feeding the motor phase cables in a whole lot easier. Feed one cable at a time through the rubber o-ring and the motor cable clamp. It is easier to install with the motor face cable in first. Secure the two screws holding the motor cable clamp and apply generous amounts of silicone. When installing the motor phase cables, it is important to remember where its original position is. The green is located towards the back, which is closest to the rear taillight. The blue is located in the center, and the yellow is located near the top, closer to the front headlight. Reinstall the motor hall sensor cable and apply generous amounts of silicone to secure it in place. It's important at this stage that we test and make sure everything functions correctly. Let's reconnect the display cable and the battery plugs. Ensure the wheel is on a flat surface and turn the wheel back on to ensure all the functions work. If everything works as normal, apply silicone to the display cover cable and reinstall the top cover. Now let's install the rear taillight screws as well as the two covers for the battery plugs and finally the trolley handle. <laughs> 